guys, today is Wednesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in on this day. Guys, really appreciate it. Um, I'm not gonna hold you guys very long today. Want to come in and share with you a few of the items that I have absolutely been loving for the month of March. Today is March 29th at the filming of this video, March 29th, 2023. So March is on its way out, just a couple of two short days left and then we are in April. Uh, but I have a dentist appointment today. That's why I'm not gonna be in here chatting it up with you guys all day. Um, and I was informed on yesterday that my most favorite, my most favorite hygienist, dental hygienist in the world has left the practice. Practice. So today there will be someone else fool -la lying around in my mouth. So not sure how this is going to go today. I always, I, I just always had a really great experience with her. Um, so uh, keeping my fingers crossed that today goes well. But anyway, gonna share with you a few of the items that I have been loving for the month of March. So let's get started. So first up guys are my nails. Absolutely love them. You guys know that since the pandemic, I have been doing my nails at home myself and I'm having so much fun. Um, initially, I was doing the gel nails using the LED, the UV ray lamps or whatever they call, they're call. they called, but I've been reading some not so favorable things about those lamps as of late. So I have since found my way over to the KISS nails, all right? So these are the nails that you, you know, you do at home yourself and they are really supposed to mimic the sculpted acrylic nails that you get at the salon. But I am loving the fact that I am able to do my nails at home, have them look like I went to the salon and got acrylic nails, but I don't have to sit A and wait forever to get in the chair to have the damage done to my nails. And just three, I'm able to switch the nail colors and shapes and designs up a lot more frequently. So KISS guys, they just have just an array of designs. I picked up some on our last trip to Orlando and since we've been back home, I've just kind of been stockpiling them. The designs are great. Um, this one right here has butterflies on it, on them, and then there's some in there that are kind of nude and some that are really shimmery. Love the butterflies, mixed with the flowers, just really pretty. Looking forward to wearing these. Today I'm wearing these really pretty simple black ones, but I love that there's this matte finish on them. And I'm excited to try these out right here. These are the Bare But Better. Just absolutely love these. And these are all in the longer lengths. You guys know with the um, faux nails, <laughs> you can get them in the short, the medium, and the long lengths. Well, here lately, I have really been enjoying the longer lengths. And this one right here is just a really pretty, like a robin's egg blue. So again, really looking forward to trying these out. If you've seen the videos, you've seen that my nails have really been out here thrusting in these video streets. But I wanna put you on to a little tip. I don't use the glue that comes in the pack. Now back in the day when I was using these, I found that they didn't stay on all that long. Now that I use a separate glue, I buy a glue that is sold separately, it's still KISS. Um, this is the Max Speed Nail Glue. Have found that guys I have to almost pry these off I've since purchased some acetone nail polish remover and I soak them and then they come off a lot easier that way but these nails stay on now when I do the dishes I do wear my gloves so that I can extend you know the length of my wear but I've been getting at least three weeks worth of wear out of my nails. Sometimes I will, you know, change them a little bit sooner because I'm a bit thirsty and want to go ahead and try, you know, another design. But I love it and I can get two, there's, there's 28 nails in here. So 
um, you get two wares per, per box. So yeah, up first, my Kiss um, nails, and just a little tip, use the glue that is sold separately. I feel this is absolutely what is helping to extend the wear of my nails, because like I said before, they were just popping off <laughs> after about three or four days. And I see here on the box, it says you would you should get about seven days worth of wear. I'm getting three weeks, three weeks. So anyway, that's number one, guys. All right, up next, guys, is this mascara. This is the Telescopic Lift Mascara from L'Oreal. Absolutely love the packaging. Really sleek, really just really vampy like <laughs> so I had to pick it up um, but if I'm honest this is actually a TikTok fan fave if you guys are over on TikTok then you know that the girls have been over there just absolutely raving about this telescopic lift mascara from L'Oreal so I had to pick it up and I have to say I am a fan so thank you TikTok absolutely love it now I will have to say that upon opening this up um, what the lat the latter part of last month I was a bit kind of, I was scared I was scared this brush the wand it looks it looks flat and of course I'll have some side-by-side -side images uh, for you guys to get some closer detail but the wand looks flat and I don't want to get too much air inside of the container um, it doesn't have the, you know, the typical design that the mascara wand has. Um, so I was a bit afraid, but gave it a try and I have absolutely been loving it. Okay. Absolutely, of course, tried several of the Sephora or the, the brands sold in Sephora, you know, your more high end mascaras, but I have to say for around $11, this has been a really really great addition to my makeup collection and um, it's really giving me the look of falsies not sure how it is coming off on camera my eyes are red let me just say it's not from the mascara the allergies guys on last night wow it was a struggle it was a struggle last night with allergies sleeping with my mouth open which meant my throat was dry this morning and just face dry it's like when i have to blow my nose so much i guess from the kleenex and the tissue it just really dries out my face so if my eyes are looking a little bit red today it's not from the mascara because you know some mascaras can you know kind of irritate your eyes having no problems with this mascara it's just uh, the pollen. Um, so hoping I don't have too many more weeks of the allergy flare-ups with the pollen. But yeah, if you are in need of some mascara and you're really trying to experiment and try out one that's not going to be too overly expensive, get the, give this one from L'Oreal a try. You know, you can't believe everything you see on the TikTok. However, the telescopic lift from L'Oreal, I am really, 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 uh, just really enjoying it. I want to say too, you do not appreciate how, just how good you sleep when you can breathe out of both sides of your face, all right? Having clear sinuses, having nostrils that are open, a, a nasal passage that is open, let me tell you guys. We take it for granted. Right now, if you can breathe, you need to thank the Lord. If you can breathe freely right now, you should really get on your knees and thank the Lord for just clear passages. Because again, last night, having to breathe out of my mouth, it, it was just a struggle. Just a whole and entire complete struggle. So breathing brings me to my next favorite guy. These fragrances from Finery, they have just absolutely been giving me life for the month of March. Thank you, Target. Thank you, Target. You guys know I, you know, I like my luxury things and I get out here in these luxury streets with the best of them, best of them, okay? However, there are just some things I really, if I can, just don't want to spend the money on right so finery 
has decided to go and bless the ladies like myself and I'm sure there are those of you out there there actually are several of you have told me that you have tipped into Target and picked up some of these exact fragrances right um, you've also mentioned that I guess because they're so popular now you are finding it a little bit difficult to find cert uh, certain fragrances um, so I'm not going to lie and say that I do not have some luxury fragrances in my collection. I'm not going to lie and say, you know, all of my fragrances are $30 and below. However, with that, I, I do put a cap on it, right? I do have a cap on it. So, again, just really want to send a huge thank you out to Target and Finery for blessing us with the, some of these fragrances uh, that are inspired by your more expensive luxury fragrances. So, the Finery has Not Another Cherry. You guys know that it's Tom Ford's. That is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And I just love it. I love this one so much, guys, that I actually picked it up in the Body Mist. Great for wearing to the gym when you don't want to be too you know, heavy with the with the fragrances. You don't want to offend anybody around you. They're sweaty. They're lifting weights and doing push-ups or whatever. And then they go in for a deep, deep breath and they get a whiff of, you know, your perfume and over there, over there gagging. No, you want to wear a really light something, just, you know, really mild and mellow to the gym. And I love the fact that the body mist does that for me. This is great for after you get out of the shower and you want to sleep in it. Not real heavy, all right? Um, so uh, just love the Lost Cherry fragrance so much. Um, so pick it up in the Body Mist. And then I also have it in the Eau de Parfum, right? So this is more of the, you know, you get the real, real essence of the Tom Ford with a little bit more intense fragrance, you know, unlike what you do with the Body Mist. The Body Mist is much, much lighter. Now I can't smell a thing today but just know this is amazing. I think I've uh, shared this in another video. So you know what, my Easter perfumes. Yeah, check that video out. I think I talk about that Tom Ford. I think that's in there. Um, so another one from Finery is Before the Rainbow. So Before the Rainbow is a nod to Joe Malone's Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt. I wish I could smell this today. I really do. I wish my sinuses would just clear up for a few minutes so that I could smell this. Um, I'm actually wearing this fragrance today, so my um, dental hygienist today will have to tell me how great I smell, but I just love this. Again, this is one of those fragrances that you can wear and not really offend anyone it's not a really a real heavy, heavy fragrance so I wanted to choose something today you know she's gonna be all down in my person so I don't need her coughing and gagging and saying I can't wait until I get this lady out of this chair because her perfume is too strong so this is a great one and then my absolute and all time fave, 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 fave. I haven't been able to get my hands on the perfume for Jungle Santal I absolutely love Santal 33. I just love it. There's just something about that fragrance, but I've only been able to pick up the body mist. Um, I'm going to keep checking my local targets to see if I can run in one day and maybe get lucky and snag it. But as you can see, I love, I love finery and I love just what they've done and offering us ladies who, yes, we love our luxury things, but you know, we're just going to put a cap on the perfume. Like on some of them, on some of them. Um, but let me know if you have picked up any of Finery's, um, you know, dupes for some of the luxury um, perfumes. I know that some of you absolutely have. Let me know how you, um, let me know how you are enjoying them. I have to say, I am really, really, really loving mine. And I love the bottles, love the bottles. All right, guys, up next is my Illuminate Me. This is the Shimmering Body Oil from Vaseline. All right. We're heating up, we're heating up. We're um, a little chilly here today in Atlanta. I think the, the high is going to be around 64, 65, something like that. However, day before yesterday, perfect temperatures. So much so, I had shorts on. Yeah, it was that type of day. Uh, but what I love about this, what I have been absolutely loving about this shimmering oil is that it is very, very moisturizing. You know, you can get those shimmer oils where, yes, you're going to shimmer, but your skin is going to be dry and crackly. You guys know Vaseline is the moisturizing queen. Vaseline has been around since like 
since we've been putting the Vaseline around our hairlines. Like, Vaseline is that girl, right? So I am loving this one in that the shimmer is not overdone. You guys know, some of the ones that you can get from, let's say, like a Bath and Body Works, Bed Bath and Beyond. You guys know how I am with that. The one in the mall that sells all the candles, that store. You know, you can go in there and you can get some of those um, shimmering body whatevers from them. And, and, you know, you leave out your house looking like a Christmas tree. You know, glitter everywhere. I love this one in that the shimmer is very, very subtle. But what it does, in my opinion, it almost changes the texture of your skin ever so slightly. Perfect for um, those of us with the stretch marks or you know discoloration in, on certain areas of your skin. You're getting ready to put your swimsuit on or like I said, your shorts and you're trying to give yourself a more all over even finish and be moisturized at the same time with just a little bit of hint of shimmer. This is perfect. I am about halfway through this bottle. This is actually my second purchase of this, guys. I purchased this from Amazon, and um, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and purchase another bottle. I love that the application of it is just, it's just so super, so super easy, not messy. Um, easy, easy to apply. As you can see, very very moisturizing and you don't have to rub for days just love love the shimmer um i actually took this with us on our trip to uh ish correct at the start of the year and of course i had my body butters but what i uh, did on the days where i was going to be out taking pictures and stuff and i really wanted to you know give that really nice glow i would layer it out put my body butter on first and then place this on top and the body butter and this together really you know it increased the staying power so yeah i'll have this and everything else that i can find linked below but i know that i did pick this up at or ordered it from amazon but i'm sure target and walmart have this also but an absolute must for the shorts and the swimsuit as the weather starts to heat up. All right, so speaking of Amazon, right? I just said that you can purchase that shimmering oil from Amazon. You know what, before I forget, honorable mention, we're talking about Amazon, did not even have this one slated, slated to be in the video today. But since we're talking about Amazon real quick, we'll get back to these, this unit, all right? Amazon. Amazon for the win on this unit. This has been my go-to, my absolute go-to. I, you guys know, and I think I've mentioned this a couple of videos ago, I had the locks, you guys saw them, but I shaved one side off. Well, you know how we do with our hair. One day we want this, the next month we want that. So I shaved it, but then had buyer's remorse, wanted to grow back in, but then it was, you know, I had a huge puffy afro over here, but then the locks over here. So it was just, it was just, mm, we weren't matching. So I took these locks out and then I just shaved my hair completely down. Yes, I have shaved it completely down. Yes, I have. So um, I have about that much hair. But what I will say is um, my hair oil. My hair oil has really, really, really been helping me to get the length back I want because I will be putting the locks back in. I saved my locks, so I will be having those reinstalled. However, in the meantime and in between time, I have been wearing this particular unit and I just freaking love it. I absolutely love it. It's easy, no fuss, no muss. Um, you do get a little bit of shedding, but you know, what else is new? For the price that I paid, and I'll have it linked down below as well, I'm not complaining. So Amazon for the shimmering oil, Amazon for this unit. This has absolutely been a fave of mine for the month of March. And then there's these, the, there are these sunglasses. You cannot go to Amazon without leaving with, if you're me, a pair of sunglasses. I think every time I click on Amazon, I have to put a pair of sunglasses in my cart for $12 or so. 
I don't, I, I don't think I've ever spent more than $15 on a pair of sunglasses from Amazon. And I love these. These are among my newest faves or the ones that I feel I have really been reaching for here for the in the month of March. The oversizedness of them. The over these you put on, you don't have to worry about how your skin is looking that day, whether or not you're like me today and have the red eyes from the allergies. These are going to cover just about your entire face. So love these for that reason. Those of you who are getting ready to head out for your spring vacations, these are just the perfect. I am sitting by the pool. I am walking along the beach and I'm here for the photos. These are those sunglasses, just super dark. They're going to hide everything that's going on. Because this is like the usually our problem areas, right? When you're getting up here early in the morning or, you know, you're just heading out really quickly. These are the ones you reach for and they're going to kind of hide, you know, all those things we're wanting to hide. But super large frames, just love these. Absolutely love these. So I'll have these linked below. Like I said, I'll have the unit link. Uh, link below and that shimmering oil all three from Amazon all right so I just mentioned my hair oil all right I use the hair oil but that made me remember um, that I needed to do just a couple of shout outs actually just three just just three real quick shout outs guys because I didn't do shout outs I think in the last video nor the video before that so I just had Eric grab um, just three. He just grabbed three for me off um, off of my office downstairs. So three quick shout outs. I want to send a huge shout out to Veronica B. This is Veronica B's first order, guys. She's from Columbus, Georgia. So I'm glad Eric grabbed one um, in order. And um, she's from Georgia, Columbus, Georgia. And she picked up the Unapologetically Dope t-shirt. That's one of the newest t-shirts in the store i love it it has these like variations of gold and brown and sparkliness in it so thank you so much veronica b her first order thank you so much for the love all right yolaine j this is yolaine's third order hi yolaine i love your name she's from mcdonough georgia so i think eric went down there and kind of flipped through the uh, orders and picked up the georgia people mcdonough georgia hi yolaine thank you so much um, she picked up an HBCU educated t-shirt, all right? Those of you who went to, a, who went to um, HBCUs, who attended HBCUs, you got to get that t-shirt, guys. And you can also get it in a hoodie. So, Yelaine J, thank you so much. McDonough, Georgia, her third order. And the last one for today, Alicia F. This is her second order. She's from Columbus, not Georgia, but Columbus, Ohio. And she picked up one of the Unfrumpy Mummy Code t-shirts. That's an OG t-shirt in the store. I think that's one of the first t-shirts um, I ever came out with. So, get your hoodies, your t-shirts. I think the only thing I have left in the store is just a couple of bottles of my hair oil. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> the next item that I have been loving for the month of March, guys, is my Louis Vuitton Terrine. You guys see that? I have had this bag at least three years, and do you see that the Vachetta is still just about in brand new condition? This is the Terrine. Had it for about two or three years, but the reason it's on my fave list today for March is because I have forced myself to bring this bag out and intentionally wear it. It is because of the Vachetta that I really do not wear this bag. That The same goes for the Speedy. That's why this Speedy is sitting here. Look at the Vachetta on this. This bag is eons old. Just like almost the day I brought it home. Pristine, pristine condition again. I just cannot bring myself not often enough anyway to you know take these bags outside of the house so this month it has been the terrine you know off and on 
but I'm going to already go ahead and claim it for April. I have absolutely got to bring this Speedy out and let it see the world. The the patina is gonna happen and I'm just gonna have to be okay with it. So I love this bag, guys. I don't I, I wanna say this one has been discontinued by Louis Vuitton. I was on their website not too many days ago and I did not see this bag on there. Um, you can, however, as you ladies know, get this on the pre-love market. Of course, this is a top uh, handle bag, carry top handle in your hands, put it in the crook of your arm, and then you can also wear it cross body. So I love it for that reason. And as you can see, it is a really good size bag. And now, because this is such a good size bag, I have since retired some of my smaller wallets. These wallets right here sent me a memo a couple of weeks ago and said we quit. They said we quit. You have been reaching for us too many times, all right? We are over it. This one right here especially. This one, as you, I'm sure you guys know, this is the Gucci and Balenciaga kind of, what was it, partnership that they did. Um, this one, I need to take a lint brush too because on the webbing, it's just getting fuzzy because I, I, I always grab for this one. Um, it just feels real good in the hand and it's just so super cute. And then these two, just so stinking cute, just grab and go. But I will say I, you know, was reaching for these because I was carrying or wearing smaller bags. But now, since I forced myself, forced myself, to wear this one a little bit more, I decided to dust off the Josephine. You know, the Josephine is an OG, um, just a classic monogram piece from Louis Vuitton. And I feel since I'm wearing a bigger bag now, I can pull out my bigger wallet. So this is what I will be taking with me to the dentist's office today. And I think this will be the last time that I take it for the month. And then I'll switch over to my Speedy. We'll see how I do. We will see. We'll see how I do. All right, guys. So I want to share with you the show that I am enjoying as of late. And while I do that, another honorable mention is going to be my outdoor porch area there you guys know we recently had half of our deck enclosed in um, if you live here in georgia you know what the spring and summer give in terms of insects i'm gonna say it's not keeping the pollen out unless i guess if you had it enclosed in glass ours has a screen so somehow the pollen is weaseling its way in so it's not protecting us from the pollen. However, the bees, the mosquitoes, you know, all the little things like that, they're not getting in. So I have really been enjoying sitting out there and just enjoying nature, listening to the sounds of the birds. My azaleas have come in. I have, I think it's a Japanese something out there in the backyard. It has some really pretty pink flowers on it. So I've just been loving sitting out there. Eric installed a TV. It's just a whole vibe right now out there, guys. So I have to, I had to include that. All right, and so finally, guys, the last thing for March that I wanted to share with you. I've been loving quite a few things for March actually, but had to narrow it down. Um, the clock is ticking for me to get out of here. So I think I am just going to make it and I'll end today's video with the show that I'm watching. It is, of course, all my shows that I watch here lately have been on Prime Video. Prime Video and it's Sandish, Sanditon, S-A-N-D-I-T-O-N, Sanditon. It is a it's a period piece. I am just really drawn to the period pieces here lately. But as Emmy Award winning writer Andrew Davies brings Jane Austen's unfinished last novel vividly to life. And yes, vividly. And I'm just reading um, the description here on Amazon. The once sleepy fishing village of Sanditon. Why do I add syllables to it? Oh, yeah, Sanditon. That's one of my pet peeves, people adding too many syllables to words. So the one sleepy fishing village of Sanditon 
is transforming into a fashionable spa resort full of intrigues and dalliances. Changing alongside it is the impulsive and unconventional Charlotte Haywood, who journeys to discover herself and find love on her own terms. Um, so that was a lot. That was a very <laughs> descriptive and long out, I think drawn out description of what the show is, but it's basically a romantic period piece and it has its ebbs, its flows, it has its drama, it has its mystery, and I am completely, completely intrigued by it. I am season one, episode eight. If you um, are watching Sanditon, let me know how you are enjoying it. It is, of course, Masterpiece Theater on Amazon Prime. Yeah, so really loving that. You guys will have to drop down and let me know what you are watching these days. So if I'm not watching Sanditon, what am I watching? Probably something on YouTube or, um, or Disney Plus. Well, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I need to run up and do a few last minute things before I head to the dentist. I'm gonna brush my teeth again, floss again. Drop down, leave a comment, let me know if when you are headed to the dentist, like how good do you brush your teeth? Like I brush my teeth really good, I floss, like I even double my floss. I don't use those flossers, mm -mm. I use the old school floss, the string, and I take the string and then I have it. So it's like two pieces of string that I'm actually flossing with. Um, that's what I just do daily. Um, but yeah, when, I, when I'm when i going to the dentist, I just, I just make sure, like I brush for about three minutes. When I'm going to the dentist, I might do three and a half and then repeat it like two, three times. Um, but anyway, gonna go do my little last minute things. Uh, pack up my purse and head to the dentist, but I really appreciate you guys stopping in today Thank you so much for all of the love on The channel thanks so much guys for noticing how she just pumping out all these videos. I am loving it I don't know some a fire has been lit under me, but I'm getting my orders out and I'm able to pump these videos out and I really appreciate everybody who stops in watches the video, leaves a comment. Really, really, really do appreciate it, guys. But uh, today's Wednesday, like I said, it's hump day, so hope everyone is having an awesome week. Hope the weather is amazing where you guys are. Thanks so much for all the love, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.